this is pretty much unlike me to be doing something like this, but I've been wanting to do this for a long time, so I'm giving it a shot, and we'll see how it goes. So, enjoy! <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to do an on, not an unboxing video, a what's in my bag video. And I have a lot of bags, um, which I'm discovering that I didn't know that I did. I did know, but I didn't know. Because I'm very much like the person that's like, oh, I don't have very much stuff, but I actually really do. Um, and I use all of it, but yeah, anyway. I thought it would be fun. So I have this really awesome leather bag that my husband actually got for me. Um, I think it was for a birthday, maybe? Uh, I can't remember. I've had it for a few years now, but it's a leather tote. Um, it's just crossbody strap. It's the um, crossbody tote from Cageless Birds Leather Goods. Um, I love the Cageless Birds. Uh, it's a ministry that I really believe in, and um, I love their products. So it's really, really fun. I can support and be part of something that's bigger than me, and I really like that. So it's cool. Anyway. This is what the outside of the bag looks like. There's a front pocket here. Uh, it's really beat in, like, really well. There's brass um, hardware. You can take this off. This strap is off if you want to. You can carry it around like this. Um, it, these handles are nice because you can just, like, pick it up like that um, with it. And But I never carry it with just that. I always wear it crossbody. Um, this is just a... Oh my. Anyway, this is a little headscarf that my Aunt Debbie gave to me whenever I was like four or five. Um, she passed away whenever I was that age, so I've kept this and she's given it to me pretty much forever. Uh, so I just have it as a little bag beauty. Uh, so let's get into what's in my bag. Okay. So first thing, uh, just a little Instax mini um, instant film camera. I've been really liking this. My husband bought this for me uh, right before his birthday. I wanted it to, uh, which was a couple weeks ago, May 29th. Um, but I wanted this because um, I never print pictures. I am notorious for taking pictures on my phone, but never uh, printing them out. So it's nice to have this because you just take it and you immediately have the, um, the picture and I really like that and I've been wanting one of these for a while and we got this off of Mercari for $30 and it came with three packs of film and I was super excited about it so number one thing there number two this is random randomly just in my bag I usually uh, um, I usually keep this this is where I write songs um, I usually keep this in my guitar case, but I guess I had it out of the guitar case and I don't know, but this is where I write songs, so nice. Uh, let's see, here's my wallet. Um, this is one of, I have a lot of wallets. I have, I have a thing for leather wallets, leather bags, whatever, but this little guy is from Nicaragua. I think you can see it says Nicaragua right on, right on there. But my husband got this for me um, while he was on a mission trip to Nicaragua and he always thinks about me and gets me gifts and I pretty much just have like my card and my license and odd cash in there. So there's that. Um, I have my sunglasses um, and they're in the sunglass case which is also from Cageless Birds and it says fly high build home on it. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm, on, I'm using my phone so whatever. Uh, yeah, but these are prescription because I can't see through sunglasses, regular sunglasses, so I have to always have my prescription sunglasses with me, and I really like that. Uh, I have my Samsung Galaxy, not Galaxy, just Samsung earbuds. They're really cool. They have like a sheen, a shine to them, which I really like. They're Bluetooth. They're awesome. Um, I use them a lot, and I really am appreciative and thankful for these things because they come in handy. Um, I recently bought this, I forgot to buy this whenever I bought my Muji pen 
fountain pen. Um, this is just a converter so I can put other ink in it. Um, I haven't used it yet, obviously it's still in the packaging, but I guess I just threw it in my bag. So, it's gonna count. Nice. Okay, um, I have this thing, which I love this thing. Uh, my friend uh, Miranda bought this for me for my birthday in March, and it is just, uh, it's from Saddleback Leather, and it's just a leather pouch, tobacco leather, um, that I just keep stuff in here that I don't want just floating around my toe because my toe doesn't have a zipper, it's just open. So I like to just keep loose things, or maybe important things in here. Um, I have my in-ear headphones. I have a lot of headphones apparently. Um, I have these headphones that are just random and then a lot of guitar picks. So these actually could be floating in this and I usually keep my headphones in that, but I guess it just wasn't in there. So I'm gonna put those in there now so they don't get lost. But apparently I, I walk around with three pairs of headphones, which is interesting. Okay, so I always have some kind of Bible with me. Right now I'm in um, my NLT Bible and I can have like my Bible on my Bible app, which is fun and fine, but I don't always like keeping it just there. I like to have the physical, tactile, can take notes, can circle things, highlight things, whatever. Um, so right now, like I said, I'm in my NLT. This Bible, um, my dad got me uh, when I was 19 and it was my first missions trip with him to India. And there's a cool inscription in it that he wrote for me. We, I literally, we were, we were heading to India and we were like, had like an hour before we had to be to the airport. And I had forgotten my Bible, I think in my apartment at home. And we were like three hours away. So I wasn't just like gonna go back and get it. So we stopped at a bookstore before we got to the airport and he bought this for me and inscribed in it and I took it all through India and I pull it out every once in a while so I'm in it right now and I really really like it and so this thing I've been using more and more and more clip for my paper um, I bought this at the probably beginning of the year end of December um, of 2019 and have been using it since then and it's just a little um, Cageless Birds, once again, Cageless Birds Leather Goods um, journal. And I think that this one is the, um, I can't remember what this one's called. It's not the everyday, the everyday one is bigger and it's not the pocket size. It's, I think it's just called the little actually. This is the little in butterscotch um, and I love butterscotch everything. <laughs> so color and flavor. Um, anyway, this is my butterscotch and I am more than halfway through it. I'm gonna be finishing it soon which I'm really excited about. I've been really like, uh, I've been I've um, been writing in a journal since I was nine years old and I really just love writing and I've gone through periods of time where I'm like writing a whole bunch and writing in all kinds of journals um, and then I go through periods of time where I feel like I don't write anything. Um, but right now I'm really into it again and I love it and it really helps me process my thoughts and just get things off my chest. And it's good and I like it and I carry inside of my journal um, this pen, which I just got not too long ago because I'm recently really, I'm really into fountain pens. And so this is the Muji aluminum body, uh, fine nib fountain pen. And I really, really love it. And, um, yeah, it's just really, really pretty. It's really, really light. It, uh, is a easy, um, smooth writer. And for one of my very first fountain pens, um, I'm really loving it and excited about it. And I got this off of Amazon, um, but I got, so I, but my first like fountain pen was just like a throwaway pilot, uh, varsity fountain pen that was like $4 and 95 cents from a art store that I, in my hometown, whenever I visit my parents, I go to this, um, it's called the peaceable kingdom. And that's where I got my first ever fountain pen like that. But this one is my first refillable fountain pen and I'm very excited about it. So I just keep this in my journal and I just have it with me all the time and I write in it and I write with it and it's great. So probably going to run out of time on my phone because I have no space on my phone because I'm the worst, but I'm kidding. I'm not the worst. Just kidding. anyway, I like this because tobacco leather is like my thing. Um, I just love it. I love the color of it. I love the brownness and how it scratches up good and it gets really velvety and smooth and soft and I love it. Beautiful. This I just bought. Okay. This is a um, Midori 
Traveler's Notebook. And I bought this off of Amazon. This is just a little charm. It's a dove and um, a candle charm that I have on it. You can see that. This is the blue leather um, and the Midori's Traveler's Notebook. Um, and I have the insert that it came with. And then I bought this insert and I can't remember what it's called, but it has the dot cream paper. Um, does it say in here what the heck it is? It does not, it's unmarked. I cannot remember what this is at all, but it has like a brown cover. So I have two inserts in this cover right now and um, a canvas, yellow canvas pocket thing that you also has like a zip thing, which I just keep things in like um, stamps and whatever ha else have you. What else do I have in here? Oh, washi tape and white out. Nice. But I haven't used this yet. I haven't gotten into it yet. Like I said, I'm really into the journaling world right now and fountain pen world right now. So I found um, the Midori Traveler's Notebook and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have that. And I haven't started it yet, obviously, because I'm not finished with this and I have a pet peeve about starting two at the same time. I didn't used to be like that. Um, I used to actually have a separate journal for every like writing topic that I was interested in. So whether that was like poetry or songwriting or and just like everyday writing down what I did that day journal or thoughts um, and then I had like a separate prayer journal and I would keep them all at the same time but now I feel like that's too hectic and chaotic for me so I like to just compile all of those things into one notebook no so whatever I'm feeling in the moment I don't have to like pull out a separate journal or carry all these different journals I like just carrying one um, which is why I like the concept of the Midori Traveler's notebook because you have you can fit a lot of these tinier thinner inserts into that and I really really like that concept of the traveler's notebook so once I'm finished with this one um, I'll probably start in this one even though I did just buy a chic sparrow uh, cover for notebooks but we'll see where it goes I'm excited about using it I'm a journal freak fanatic so I'm excited about it and yeah so that's one more thing so the last thing that I have in here is this. My husband just gave me this because again, uh, my recent obsession with fountain pens. I always had an obsession with pens, but this is my recent obsession with fountain pens. And so I have more than just fountain pens in here, but I'll unravel this. And this is, I think the name is on the inside of it. So I will unravel it and then tell you what it is. But this is the Vensk Leather Goods. I don't know, it says V-E-N-S-K. Oh, no, just V-E-N-S-K. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like this on the inside. And I really, really love it. It keeps my notebooks in here. I mean, not my notebooks, my pens in here. Um, and I have just like inserts over here and cartridges for my fountain pens. This is one other fountain pen that I have. And I just bought this off of Etsy. Um, it's turquoise and brass, which turquoise is my favorite stone. Um, mineral, whatever you want to call it. I think it's a stone. <laughs> it is a stone, duh. Um, but anyway, this is the medium nib and I got this from a girl on Etsy and I think it's olive branch something something. Maybe I'll link it below, maybe I won't. We'll see. But this is the pen and I really, really love it and it's beautiful and I haven't filled this with anything yet um, just because I'm waiting on ink from the Goulet uh, Pen Company and I'm very excited about it and I want to fill this with that ink because I just feel like it'd be beautiful and a perfect touch. So I just have that stored and I carry it with me right now. And then I just have like other random pens in here. I have one that's from, like these are just from Hobby Lobby. I have a Pilot um, ballpoint pen, um, just one that has a stylus that I got from Amish Country and this guy, which is a brass pen with a Saddleback leather tobacco cover. So anyway, I'll wrap that up. So yeah, that's what is in there. And that's it. My bag is empty. I have some just string in there. But yeah, so that was fun. I love talking about what's in my bag. I love being triggered by what's in there and telling you about it. And so yeah, I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. I thank you for watching. Thank you for watching if you're watching this. If not, I don't really care because this was just fun for me to do. So anyway, we'll see what happens next time. Bye.